Hey there, folks. So, uh, wow. I could be like, I don't, I don't know if anybody's going to watch this because, uh, I think a lot of people are watching the presidential debate. And to be honest, like, I can start to tear myself away from it. It's like such a, it's a shit show. <laughs> I, I will say I think uh, Biden is definitely has taken his meds today. He seems very uh, very with it, and he's he's doing a good job. I think they're both doing a good job, but uh, I think I'm gonna put it on hold for now and watch the rest another time, so I can stream some Star Trek: The Game Show here. It's Windows 3.1 app. Let's get it going with the intro. It's off a of CD, so there's sometimes delays, and lags, and stuff like that. Actually, I should make sure you can hear it. I should have done that before. Uh, shoot. One second. I may have to actually restart it. One sec. I was doing something else with this computer before and I forgot to reset. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that's working. That's working. Everything's working except for the game. All right, hopefully the sound, you can hear the sound. If, if you can't hear the sound, let me know. Space, the final frontier. For centuries, the United Federation of Planets has explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy, seeking out strange new worlds, new life forms, and new civilizations, boldly going where no one had gone before. Like I said, it loads off the CD, so sometimes it like take, takes a while to load the video and stuff. Right now it's taking a really long time for some reason. Oh, uh, will you give it a rest? You know, he makes it sound like your quest for knowledge is significant. To you, maybe, but to me, sticking your starships into other species' business is merely a quaint exercise in frivolity. But you know what? That's what I love about your species. Your ability, your desire to dwell on all matters trivial is the best thing that ever happened to me. Besides me, of course. You see, as long as you people stay out of trouble, and I'm talking about real trouble, not your cute little twubble with twibbles, then I can dedicate some quality time to someone worthy of my undivided attention. And I can't spend all that time with myself if I have to constantly clean up after your quests for knowledge. Remember, I have the fun. You suffer the consequences. The great John Delancey is Q. That brings me as to why you're here. I've devised a devious little diversion and modeled it after the all-time classic 20th century game show. That little doozy spread like a virus around your planet and ended up making we'll Earth the laughing stock of the galaxy. Yeah, but totally. enough about me and my stellar inventiveness. Let's talk about you and your lack of it. On second thought, it's time for the announcer to do some work. I don't know how you would watch this whole thing. Right you are, your game. omnipotence. Okay, contestants, how many of you will be playing today? Type one, two, or three. All right, so hopefully you guys can hear that. So it's just me, unfortunately. I wish I could figure out a way to play with somebody else, you know, but for now I'll do one. I think it's like you don't know Jack, though, so even if it's one person, it's still reasonable. Come on. <laughs> Now click on the species you represent. I don't think it really matters what species you pick, but uh, for the heck of it, I'll pick a Klingon male. Now, type in your name. That's like uh, Christopher Lloyd, by the way. It looks like... Hey, Klingon. <laughs> oh, sorry, just clearing my throat. And you thought I was speaking to you. Good job. Your buzzer is the B key. Okay, let's go. To quit the game at any time, hit the escape key. See, the problem with this, we played that Star Trek trivia game that was a DOS game. It was like a lot faster to read the questions. This thing got this whole preamble here. And now, live from the center of the galaxy, it's the only game show where important, useful facts appear as often as the Nexus. And if you know what I'm talking about, you're in the right place.
Welcome to Q's Trivia Trick. And now your favorite host and mine. Please welcome Q. Thank you, thank you. You're not kind enough, but it'll have to do. I'm thrilled to be here. Equally thrilled is my lovely partner. Now, as a matter of theory, she has powers equal to mine, but as a matter of fact, she has so much to learn before she can attain my level of... Uh, Fuzzy video, me. but it's cool to so, see John please, Delancey's cute. Let's give a similar, but tastefully less enthusiastic welcome to Q. Cute Q, but this Tribble. is cuter. Much better. I think this is just a way to save John Delancey's line so we don't have to speak to right. lines. That's enough. Q, you you look ravishing as always. Why thank you, Q. It's nice to be back. As usual, it is such an honor to assist you. You will of course remind me to appreciate this opportunity. Of course, my dear. Right after I remind the continuum that your training is still not complete. Is it my choice of uniform? Because I should tell you, it has been a while since I've worn it, merely to annoy you. <laughs> it's less a uniform than it is a cry for help. Enough chit-chat, players. Welcome to the Alpha Quadrant. As you can see, I've gone to considerable lengths to provide an atmosphere that is, if not attractive, then at least familiar. Here we will ask you about famous and notable figures in like, Federation and Starfleet <laughs> history. Now keep in mind, I have delved deeply into the lives of these people. <laughs> Some of them even know me personally. If so the questions games, fine, not only deal with their like, official acts like as Starfleet this. officers, but items from their personal logs as well. Uh -oh. You? Making good use of my omnipotent powers, I will spin this wheel. After it stops on a category, a question will be read and displayed. Be the first to buzz your buzzer, then type in the letter corresponding to the answer you believe is correct. Here we go. Finally, the game's actually going to start. So now that's over the full motion video pretty much over. The category is Helm Sciences for 200 points. Where was Mr. Sulu born? A. a Mars. B. Gosh, Tokyo, Japan. Too. The first couple of C, questions, I, I San played Francisco, this game California. Like a few times, only the first couple of questions. It seems Beta like the same Oregai. ones all the time. I don't know e, why. On a luxury it's not smart enough to like, not do different questions. Uh, when you buzz in, it sounds like you got it wrong, but I just buzzed in. I know, in. I know. It's C. Yeah, it is C. You don't get out much, do you? I was going to try to press that, but it didn't do it for me. C, That's from Star San Francisco, Trek 4. California. He says, uh, San Francisco. I was good there. The category is First Officer, for 600 points. According to Spock, while he is being tested this, on Vulcan, this question also got what before, is the name of the matron I, of Vulcan this philosophy? This is from Star Trek 1, a, the Star Trek motion picture. B, to Pal. And I don't remember him C, ever to saying this in the B, script. To Pell. So it must be something from the novel e, or something Salar. like that. But the answer is C, because I, I, I had this question before, too. The first three questions I've had before, because they seem to give the same questions every time. The answer is indeed... Maybe until you C finish the game, it doesn't save the progress, but that seems like pretty screwed up. So this, this category The category thing is, is engineering not for it's just, 400 it's points. Like a video Miles O'Brien and his wife Keiko have one, a daughter named Molly. Questions. They also have a son. What is the name of their son? So this is Deep Space Nine. A, Sean. B. The answer is B, because Kira carried the, carried the kid for him. So the answer after, is for, indeed for him, really, for, for him and his B, wife. Kira Yoshi. So he named the kid after Kira, Kira Yoshi, I guess. Ah! Ah! This? Oh, goody! A red alert question. This is a little game I like to call like Memories in Motion. Choice, which is Watch not really the clip on the view screen. That's all I'm going to tell you. I wish I had to you. type in the answers, actually. It's too easy. I'm tired of being responsible for 203 lives and... I'm tired of deciding which mission is too risky and which isn't, and who's going on the landing party and who doesn't. Jeffrey Player Hunter. one, this question is for you. Captain Pike. For, for 500 pilot. points. How many lives was Captain Pike responsible for? Well, you just A, said. 73. Hallelujah. <laughs> the answer is, indeed, C, 203. That's just a memory question, because they just showed me.
The category is engineering for 400 points. Now this question I didn't see before. It's the first one I didn't see before. Get the cheese to sick bay. Why does Balana give this order? A, the cheese is actually a dying alien life form. B, the cheese has infected the Voyager crew with a mind altering illness. C, the cheese has infected the computer gel no packs idea. with a virus. D, the cheese is growing at an alarming rate. I'll guess, but I have no idea. Uh, I'll say... I know, I know, it's okay. C. Please, don't shout out the answers. You might wake up the contestants. There could be a chance to the answer buzz in. There could be a chance to even answer. C, the, the cheese has infected the computer gel packs with a virus. Oh, you can't hear him saying that question again? I'll make myself louder then. How's that, Jim? Thank you for that for saying that. I froze up the game. Here the category go. is Captain for 800 points. When Jim Kirk was younger, he served as a lieutenant on a starship that was nearly destroyed by a vampire cloud creature. Smell that name. Air. The it smells like a USS like Excalibur. Honey. It was the Farragut. B. U uh, Let's hear it for blind luck. It was a blind luck. The answer the is indeed. E, USS Farragut. The category is... But I, don't know, I don't understand this game. Like, they don't give you a lot of time to buzz Between in. Between the ages of four and five years, an Ocompan female becomes fertile for the only time in her life. Alien life forms bring on this process early I for I don't tests. remember. What Can you hear me now, Jim, when I talk called? over it? Or do I turn a, myself the into the B, the Belarage. I think it's a Logium. I'm nearly impressed. The answer is indeed. I, D, the I remembered that only when I saw the choices. Star Trek Voyager question. The category is Captain for 600 points. Late in his career, nine years before his death, Galactic Ladies' oh, Man Jim Kirk this is from the almost generations. married a very special woman. Her name in was the Antonia. Next, he tells Captain Picard about Antonia. This woman. What is her name? A. Antonia. <laughs> Are they peeking at the answers? At least I can guess the answers before the answer they show is me. Indeed. Indeed. A. Antonia. Jim, how's the sound now if you're still there? What happened? Now it's like into the first round or something? You have performed adequately so far. Actually, there's only one of me. Come on. Hello. Hello. Hello? Hello? What's going on now? It's accessing the CD. Did the game... What the hell happened? Did the game die? Oh, no. Hello? I didn't even click anything. What the hell? I think the whole the whole freaking windows crashed. Oh, I press escape. That's the button that ends the game. <laughs> Congratulations, player one. You have a high score. Okay, wait a second. If I start a new game, am I gonna get the same freaking questions again? Okay, contestants. How many of you will be playing today? Type. I better now not. Now click on the species. You now type in your name. A human. How incredibly generic. Good job. Your buzzer is the B key. If it's the same questions again, to this game, the game is like time, complete garbage. Key. And should never be played by anybody ever again. And I feel like it's gonna be. First I gotta see, watch this stupid crap again, the same thing, same exact and, full, full motion video. Now, live from the center of the galaxy, it's the only game show that proves we are not alone. Except for that guy. Please here. let it not be the same video. Welcome to Q's Trivia Trek. And now your favorite host and mine. Please welcome Q. Thank you. Thank you. You're not kind enough. It's but the same it'll freaking thing. Or can I skip it? All right. Okay, good. It's not the same question. Is it? The category okay, is good. medical for 400 points. Thank God. When Spock begins to go through the stress of Ponfar, Nurse Chapel prepares a traditional Vulcan dish. Oh, some plomeek soup. What is the name of the dish? A. 
Machavana. We're going too easy on them. Yeah, you are going too easy. The yeah, answer is Make it harder. indeed C. Plomeek soup. Come on, let's see. Hit me with everything you got. The category is medical for 200 points. Leonard McCoy usually has something to say about almost okay, this anything. Okay, I have to see the choices to know the Which answer. of the following statements has Dr. McCoy not said? A. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. B. I'm a doctor, not an engineer. C. I'm a doctor, not a soldier. I think C. D, Definitely it's, I'm a it's doctor, either C or D. Not a I think it's C. E. Will miracles <laughs> never cease? The answer is indeed C. I'm a doctor, not a soldier. A doctor, not an escalator, damn it. What am I, a doctor or a the moon shuttle conductor? For 500 points, Dr. McCoy gives Kirk a pair of spectacles for his birthday because Kirk is allergic to the usual treatment for nearsightedness. What for is most the patient sure is, I usually recommend Retinax 5. Century? A. Visalac PK. That was an easy one. It was. The answer is indeed D. Retinax 5. Retinax 5. The category is Captain. For 500 points, one of Benjamin Sisko's old oh, friends is assigned as the Jack Starfleet is. attache to the what Federation colonies in the demilitarized zone. He I'm turns you, out ben, to be a Maquis. You gotta leader. listen to me. What is this officer's name? Bertie a, Casey. Mike Smith. B. Cal Hudson. Cal Hudson. <laughs> Hallelujah. The answer is indeed B. Cal Hudson. Star the category Trek is for engineering the for 600 points. Geordi LaForge's mother, Silva LaForge, oh, was a Starfleet captain at the was. time of her death. Which ship did she command? The US, USS a, Loser. USS Threshold. B, it may have been, USS oh, it was the Hera, I think. Uh, the, even the episode was Threshold. I think it was the Hera. I know, I know. No! A few what the hell? A crystal short of a warp core, isn't he? What the hell was the that? Why did they do that? D, well, I'm both talking USS like they, they, I have like half a second to answer. There's no countdown or anything. The category That's is... That's crap. I knew the answer. Sciences for 300 points. I said it was the Hera. God Whatever. Leela, Tobin, Torias, Krizan, Jadzia. All have been hosts to the Dax symbiont. But one host, a murderer named Joran. I remember this episode, but I don't remember what his profession memories. was. Name his Is it like profession. a sculptor or a, something? Poet. B, oh, he was a musician. Doctor. I think. Let's hear it for blind luck. That's right. The answer is indeed. E. Musician. So far, I've known every single question, I think, except for that one from Star Trek 1 that wasn't really in the Star Trek For 200 one. points. On the planet Agilum Prime, Jake Sisko experiences the horrors of war firsthand as he helps Dr. Bashir treat wounded colonists. I don't remember this one. Who is attacking these colonists? A. Probably the, the Jem'Hadar. B. The Cardassians. I'm going to say the Jem'Hadar, but B. I don't remember it. <laughs> Maybe you should try sports. Oh, guess not. The answer is... I did not remember the answer C, to that one. the Klingons. Oh, well. Okay, let's see if it's going to crash again. The results from Alpha Quadrant seem a bit lopsided. <laughs> I may have to redistribute some gray matter. Okay. Is that it? You crash again? That's it? What the hell's wrong with this game? I'm gonna have to like... Maybe it's a patch or something? I'm pressing a bunch of keys here. The only thing that seemed to work last time was escape and starting a new game. Congratulations, player one! You, you know when you press escape, it doesn't even say are you sure you want to start a new game? Okay, All right, I'll do no I'll do that one more time. Today. As long as it's new one, questions. Two, and if if I now, the same thing happens the again, then I said I'm done. I'll be a human female. Um, 
Yeah, why not? I'll be a human female. Now, type in your name. Stu. It's so quaint to see you humans trying to please someone of my vast intellect. What? Good job. Your buzzer is the B key. All right. To quit the game at any time. See, maybe we can get some key. different questions and maybe not have the same crap happen again. But I'm assuming it's going to crash at the same place. And now, live from the... Skip that. There we go. The category is... Captain, for 600 points... The Enterprise encounters a space probe from the destroyed planet Catan. Oh, his name and the card is given a lifetime of Cayman. memories in the span of 25 minutes. Name the Catanian whose life yeah. the card leads. A. Batal. I'm nearly impressed. The answer is, indeed... D. Cayman. The category is first officer for 400 points. After Kira rescues a Bajoran war hero from a Cardastian prison camp, Kira is reassigned and replaced on DS9 with this war hero. What was the name of Kira's A. Replacement? Jared Min. B. Lee Nollis. Lee Nollis, C. M. I. Prim. Are they peeking at the answers? I don't deserve to the peek answer at the answers. Indeed. B. Lee Nollis. I just remember the category the is engineering really. for 400 points. In the 20th century, Scotty Everybody needs knows to this build one, a right? tank to carry two whales forward through time. Transparent aluminum. What That's the ticket, laddie. To construct this tank. A. Try titanium. We're going too easy on them. <laughs> the answer is indeed. B. Transparent Aluminum. The category is Medical, or 300 points. In an effort to gain compassion for his patients, the holographic oh, I don't doctor this one. inserts the symptoms of a simulated virus into his program. Probably a cold virus, Which but simulated virus I don't remember this at all. Give himself? A. The Rigelian Measles. B. The Chicken Pox. I guess the Cuban cold, but I don't really know. I've seen Klingons who could nope. grunt more intelligent answers. <laughs> the answer is C, to the totally Lagolian don't remember that episode blue. at all. The category is security navigation for 600 points. Warp's adoptive father Sergei Roshenko oh, served true. as a warp field specialist. I don't remember what ship he was on. Petty officer. On which ship? Maybe if I see the choices. Serve? A, USS Republic. B. U.S. I'd say the Intrepid. Wellington or the Tripoli. C. U.S. the Wellington. You give sentience a bad name. Guess E. Tripoli. Oh, Intrepid. The answer is B. U.S.S. Intrepid. Oh well. The category is Helm Sciences for two hundred points. Data has a pet cat, which this keeps with him on board the Enterprise. Spot. What is the name of Data's cat? A. Sparky. Will miracles never <laughs> Jordy cease? is one of the choices. The answer is indeed... D. Spot. The category is... I like the old the original series questions the best. Uhura and Chekhov search the city of San Francisco for a nuclear naval vessel, but the nuclear vessels We're looking are for the, the nuclear Which vessels. Which houses the naval base with the nuclear, nuclear vessels? Nuclear vessels. They're in Alameda. Monterey. That was an easy one. The answer is indeed D. Nuclear Alameda. vessels. Now it's going to crash again, probably. I'm guessing. The results from Alpha Quadrant seem a bit lopsided. I may have to redistribute some gray matter. All right. Well, that's that's the third time that it crashed on the same spot. So, given that this is the third time it crashed on the same spot, and given that there's almost nobody watching the stream right now for whatever reason, because um, I guess everyone's still watching the presidential debate, or no one gives a sh <laughs> no one gives a damn about Star Trek trivia. Um, maybe I'll stop here unless someone someone wants me to try it a fourth time. You know what I I. I I'm going to try one more time, just for the hell of it. 
Because I want to see if I like the questions. I'll do one more time, and that's it. Okay, contestant. Now I'll click pick on the uh, Vulcan this represent. time. Not that it matters. Now, type in your name. Alright, last time. I could never get through the full game, but at least I can get just do a few more questions. Your buzzer is the B key. But it's really frustrating that this thing doesn't work properly. I didn't test it all the way into the game like that. Alright, here we go. The category is engineering. For 200 points, a Maquis missile is transported to the Delta Quadrant along with Voyager. Months oh. later, Voyager encounters this missile heading for a peaceful planet. I remember this what vaguely, name did Bolana give name. this missile? A. Infiltrator. B. Devastator. C. Dreadnought. D. I don't remember. Weapon Prime. I don't remember at all. E, I have no idea. Annihilator. I'm just going to have a guess. I have zero idea. I know, I know, it's C. Of all the game shows in all the galaxies. Who's that jackass that does that? To come into mine. Like, the answer is why doesn't Q, like, kill him? C, Dreadnought. The category is engineering for 300 points. Come on, let's go. Scotty loses oh. a potential girlfriend, <laughs> Lieutenant Carolyn Palama. This is uh, to a Greek god. I am Which Apollo. God? A. Zeus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, I like the original <laughs> series questions the best. D. Apollo. The category is Helm Sciences for 400 points. Lieutenant Sulu is almost killed oh. by a computer projection of the last survivor of a Kalandan outpost. I think now her name was Losira. What was the name of this deceased Kalandan? A. Uh, let's hear it for blind luck. Not blind luck if I do the answer before you show me the choices. B. Losira. Losira, whatever. The category is I think it was Losira, actually. Navigation for 800 points. Orbiting the Genesis planet. Kirk decides to destroy the damaged Enterprise. This is Pavel Chekhov, acting Chekhov science officer. The third part to suck sequence. sequence. One. What is his destruction? One B, code. two B, A. C. Code. One one. B, two B, three. I'm nearly impressed. The answer is indeed B. Code. One B, one B, two B, three. The category is. First officer for 300 points. William Riker is able to join the legendary what was the ship's name? on his first historic test huh. of warp drive in space in the year 2063. What is the name of Dr. Cockney? I don't ship? remember. A, show the choices. The Phoenix. The Phoenix. It was a Phoenix. Are they peeking at the answers? The answer is indeed A. The Phoenix. I'm a cheater. I peeked at the answer somehow. The category is First Officer for 400 points. Commander Chakotay is attacked by a Kazon boy trying to prove himself in battle. This is definitely not an what episode I watched young like when I went to Voyager again Ogla. recently. I have B. no idea. Gone. It's not C. Maj. Maj means like Captain or something. E. Shek. E. No idea. Maj. F. Who cares? I know, I know. It's C. If I need your help, I'll die first. <laughs> the I'll die first. That's sort of funny. Car. So all this spinning is like fake. The it's just showing, it's just like video or something. And they don't advance what categories are going to play. It looks like. When Captain Janeway first oh, Q. meets Q and must decide the fate of a renegade from the Q continuum, Q addresses Janeway in a variety of ways. Uh, I don't remember Which this. Which of the following names does Q not call her? A. a Captain. Dear. B. Moon Capitan. Kathy for sure he calls B, him. B. Kathy. B. Madam Captain. Your Captain B, Honor, maybe? Your Captain it's either Honor. B or E. I'm going to guess E, but it could be B, because B is what he called Picard. If you had another neuron, Darn. you'd have a synapse. Yeah, that's what he called Picard. The answer is... B. Moon Capitan. I don't want to call your Captain Honor either, but... All right, here's to the crash now, I'm guessing. The results from Alpha Quadrants. Let's press occupied. the button. I may have to I tried to skip it, but didn't work. 
That's it. It just crashes at the same spot every time. All right. Well, after the stream is over, I'm going to go and see if I can get a patch for this game online. Maybe there's a patch that fixes this problem. But as of right now, for whatever reason, it seems to crash at the same space every time. So we're never going to find out what happens after Alpha Quadrant, if there's like Beta Quadrant or Gamma Quadrant or Delta Quadrant or, or whatever. I'm assuming there's four quadrants. But we're not going to see it here, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, I guess everyone's watching the debate. Maybe I'll go back and watch it myself at this point. <laughs> Tune in for the end. Uh, if you're watching this after the fact, because only Jim Leonard was the only person who came in for a second to say that you couldn't hear me. And I tried to fix that, but I'm not sure if I succeeded or not. If you're watching this after the fact, then, uh, you know, let me know in the comments that you watched it or something or, you know, I don't know. Oh, Matt just came in just now. Hey, Matt, so, uh, like, there's something wrong with the game. It, like, after you, after the first set of questions, which is called Alpha Quadrant, it freezes, like, every time. This is the fourth time in a row it froze. So, since you just joined, if you want, maybe I can run through, like, one more set of questions, but... I was about to end it because we keep on, I keep on, like, I'm getting different questions every time, then it keeps on crashing, unfortunately, so, and it's, the game is not actually crashed, because I can still hit escape to end, end the game, but it's not moving to the next, uh, next piece here, <laughs> switch over and play McPixel instead, no, McPixel, I think, is even worse than this, <laughs> McPixel, I get, I get, like, my blood pressure goes up when I play that game. I should try some. I, you know, I, I, I feel like I should try. I would try this one. Where is it? So this is this this game that I've been playing here is Star Star Trek: The Game Show, featuring Q. Um, I also have this one, Star Trek Trivia Challenge, but I, I didn't even open it yet, so I'm not gonna try to install it or whatever else now. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I'll end it here, and we'll do this again at a different time, hopefully with a better game that actually doesn't crash. In the meantime. Thanks for joining the last minute, Matt, and I'll see everyone soon. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye-bye.